as a whole, you know, their squad's in a, in a very good place at the moment. And Aussie, like you said, are struggling a little bit at the moment, but they, at home, they, they fire up. They're, they're very competitive. So I, th I think v was lucky enough to, to play under MS for a long time and, and, and learnt a lot. Uh, before India play New Zealand, they're also heading to Australia for a tour. And Australia is going through a rough patch right now. So do you think this is the best time for India to win a test series in Australia? Um, yeah, it's obviously, you know, as a travelling team, going away from home is always tough. Um, you know, obviously the conditions in Aussie will be, you know, a little bit different to what they, what they faced in, in India. Um, but, yeah, obviously the, the way Aussie, like you said, are struggling a little bit at the moment, but they, at home, they, they fire up. They're, they're very competitive, so I think, you know, it, it's going to be a very good series. But the way India are playing at the moment, um, I think they, they are in very good chance to, to win that series. What do you guys think about the way the Indian cricket team is playing? I mean, the results are good, but the aggression, do they come off as the over-the-top uh, op uh, opponents? What do you guys think of the Indian? No, I don't think so. I think, you know, the way they're playing cricket at the moment is is very good. You just look at the results there. I think they've got a, a very well-balanced squad. Um, they cover all aspects very well. They've got the seamers who can swing it. They've got Boomerah. They've also obviously got the batting and they've got the two wrist spinners. So I think as a whole, you know, their squad's in a, in a very good place at the moment and um, it just shows with the way, you know, they're playing career at the moment. Talking about senior players now, um, MS Dhoni. MS Dhoni has been respected a lot and he's led India for the past so many World Cups. Now his future looks very uncertain. He's also given his uh, spot for Rishabh Pant. Do you see India without MS Dhoni in the coming World Cup? Yeah, it's obviously a hard one. Um, you know, you want to go into the World Cups with with experience. You know, MS Dhoni has got more experience than anyone else. You know, he's played World Cups, he's, he's won it. Um, so, yeah, it's obviously a tough one. Um, you know, I think you, you definitely need him in the squad. Um, but, you know, it's also a time for, for young play, young players coming through as well. And Rochelle Pants obviously started very well. Um, he's, he's a good player. and. But, you know, Dhoni is probably still one of the best finishers going around. So, um, yeah, it's obviously not my decision to make, but, you know, it'd be tough for, tough for the selectors. What, what do you think of the transition uh, from Dhoni to Kohli? How is Virat Kohli doing as a captain? What do you think of him, his aggression and the change in the Indian side? Yeah, I think he's obviously a very good captain, um, and so was MS. You know, he's. I think Virat was lucky enough to, to play under MS for a long time and, and, and learnt a lot. Um, and so the transition wasn't, you know, too much to, to go into captaining. Um, yeah, you just look at the way the side is performing at the moment. Um, they're obviously playing some very good cricket, and I think the structure of the team, um, you know, is why I guess that they they are very well balanced. Obviously, the batting lineup is is really good at the top, and they just have all aspects covered. And, and I think fielding is, is such a big part now as well. And they. I think V-Rat's probably leading that, you know, he's obviously a very athletic guy, very, very good fielder and, and so is the team now. Okay, my last question, six months away from the World Cup, I'd like you to predict who are the top four semi-finalists, the, the four semi-finalists for the World Cup. I mean, I'm assuming you're putting New Zealand in there, the other three. Yeah, of course, of course New Zealand. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's obviously England conditions, um, I think South Africa are looking pretty good at the moment. Obviously India are always going to be tough to beat. Are you saying that because you're here or do you think India will be? Both. No, <laughs> I think general India um, you know, have performed well away from home lately um, and they have the squad to, to be able to perform. Um, and the other one, hmm, Pakistan or Aussie I think. Pakistan or Aussie? I just think because the, they did well the Champions Trophy uh, in England this year, um, so they might take a bit of momentum from that. What do you have to say to the Indian team before they come? Uh, look out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's going to be a very tight series. Um, you know, we they haven't come to New Zealand for four years or so, so it's going to be interesting, I think. It's going to make for a very good series. <laughs>